Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for watching, thanks for being here. This is Sean, I do sneakers, I do travel, and everything in between. If you're an old head like me, and if you've paid attention for as long as I have, you probably understand the impact that Nike Dunks have on sneaker culture. You probably also know that the Nike Dunks have evolved into the Nike SB Dunks. And uh, that was a time when people really started paying close attention to sneakers. Hey, let me remind everyone that I'm giving away a brand new pair of Vans Skate High sneakers when we reach 1,100 subscribers. Go check the subscriber account, you have a big chance of winning. Now all you have to do is to subscribe and comment your size on the link at the description. Comment your size not on this video, but on the video contained within the link. Understood? <laughs> The Nike SB Diamond Dunk Low probably started it all in Los Angeles in 2005 and this shoe is known for bearing a luxury look and feel very much like the Diamond Company, Tiffany and Company. Hence the nickname of the sneaker is Tiffany, Tiffany's Tiffs. This shoe is a collaboration between Nikki Diamonds, the founder and owner of Diamond Supply Co., a skate shop that was started in 1998. This is a collaboration between Nikki Diamonds and obviously Nike SB. The blue that you see on the sneaker is the same as the signature Tiffany blue. It's the blue that you see in their jewelry boxes, in their paper bags. The shoe also carries this luxury crocodile leather finish on the mud guard and on the eye stays. Very luxurious look and feel and that's what Nicky Diamonds was going for when he, when he proposed the idea. <laughs> And did you know that the, the inspiration for the shoe was a t-shirt that Nikki Diamonds had already been producing even before the deal with Nike? These 2005 SB Dunks are definitely up there when it comes to all-time greatest sneakers. Ask any historian, any historian if they ever exist, right? Ask any historian, any OG of the sneaker game, they'll probably tell you that the SB Dunks, these SB Dunks are in their top five. Um, it's a shoe that moved sneaker culture. It's a shoe that elevated sneaker culture. It's one of those shoes that started mobs and long lines and camping out. sneaker as important as the Tiffany's of course comes with a crazy price tag. They sell for almost $2,000 in StockX today. High top version was released in 2014. It was also a highly anticipated shoe, but nowhere near the anticipation of the original Tiffany's in 2005. It also carries the same design language, the same Tiffany blue, the same crocodile leather on the mud guard and ice days.
that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.